the Huskers blown out today 70 to 31 the final and it wasn't even that close well last night of course was a loss of epic proportions for the Rangers but don't count these guys out the Blue Jays continue to be the talk of Missouri Valley play their perfect 3-0 in conference action McDermott truly was a historic day for Creighton but if they're ready to make history the Jays beat Cincinnati and then they beat Duke moving into the Sweet 16 for the first time in program history with the Creighton if they don't take care of business against Northwestern, you can kiss that conference championship goodbye. Jake Odom was only one of seven from the floor in the first half. Zero assists, and somehow this game is still tied. Yeah. After last night's performance, 16 three-pointers made. They are now first in the country in three-pointers made per game and three-point field goal percentage. These guys are Unreal. Yeah, after for Nebraska, but now they must regroup and get ready for Michigan next week. The best players in Rangers franchise history, one of the best catchers the game has ever seen. Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo and the rest of the team have fielded questions all week long about the most popular set of ribs in the NFL. Radio, yes, Michael, I've got a big jacket on. You don't. <laughs> You're a man. Obviously, I'm not. But uh, let's talk a little football. Rex Burkett, Brian, all the way back in training camp, called Philadelphia the all hype team. At at yesterday's press conference, I asked the Bearcats' Cashmere Wright what his impressions were of Doug McDermott. He smiled, laughed a little, and then proceeded to call him Jeff twice in his answer. I think after today, he'll remember his name. With the Jays in Philadelphia. Throughout the entire year, it's been all about team. How exciting was it for you that that's exactly how you clinched tonight? When you were holding the trophy, when Mark handed it to you, does that validate your career? For, for you. All right, uh, Tony Romo, you've dealt with your your fair share of criticism. So is Tony <laughs> Romo. How do you think he's handled it? The last couple of weeks have come down to the final seconds. How has that been for you up there in your box watching these games? Is your heart okay? Why should they pick you over Andrew Luck as a top quarterback? Do you uh, measure <laughs> your pythons? No, on a... no, I don't. <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm no. sorry. I'm staring at them. They're huge. No, I don't. A strike away from yesterday twice. You can't seal the deal today. Can you sum up just what, what all's going through your mind right now? You know, it's just... Uh, I mean, to Oklahoma State, is this going to be a, a regular stop for you throughout your career? Uh, I, I, it does. A uh, big game for you. How nice was it to get involved early? In Life as a high school student in the Midwest is just like anywhere else. Hallways are filled with kids trying to get from class to class. The cafeteria filled with hungry teenagers and banner showing a sense of school pride. However, Omaha Burke has a student unlike any other. He's a character, he, he's loving, you know, he's always talking. And I think it's just personality, he's out there and he's just hilarious. Meet Hector Rolf, an 18 year old rolling his way through high school. <laughs> but he's not your average student. Hector has a very rare bone disease constraining him to his wheelchair. It's called OI, so Dr. really really has it's me as definitely it's imperfect. To make it simple, basically he has brittle bone disease. But that won't keep Hector from having the high school experience he deserves. All you do is talk to girls that practice. Ah, no, you're wrong. No. Special Education Department head Jerry Donahue has a caseload that includes Hector a rambunctious teenager needing somewhere to burn off a little energy. But we just wanted to try to get Hector more involved in high school life, which every kid wants. So uh, why don't we have him uh, be a manager on the football team? Hi, how are ya? Coach Donahue, who, who really formed a great relationship with Hector, um, came to me and, and said, would you mind uh, bringing Hector aboard as part of the program? And, and uh, it was something that uh, I was excited about. Uh, we were happy to have Hector be a part of our program. We'll see you at practice. See ya. Rolf quickly fell in love with a game he knew he would never get a chance to play. Do you ever feel left out knowing that you're not able to play? No. Nah. He just knows where he is and he's, he's just happy and he wants to make the best of it. I feel like uh, everybody likes me. so because nobody's perfect in the world. I mean, he is one of the guys. He jokes around with everybody, he talks to us. Hey. As he was just one of the guys cheering on his school in the state football playoffs. Come on. Only thing standing in the way from the Bulldogs moving on 
were undefeated and the number one team in state, the Miller North Mustangs. And we always want to win, of course, especially if it's hit added incentive with him being there. Matt, good luck. I play with Hector in my heart. He's a great friend. He's, and this is why I go out there and I want to do it for him. And the Bulldogs did just that. A 37-yard touchdown run from Logan Geyer gave Burke a 17-14 lead. Yes! Over the Mustangs late in the second quarter. And I hear him over there chirping. He's he's a loud kid. And, Good job, go! And, uh, you know, it, it brings a lot of excitement to, to our sideline. But that feeling of joy quickly turned to heartache. As Miller North outscored Burke 21 to 6 the rest of the game, and eventually winning 35 to 23, ending a season. Really? Are you kidding me? And shattering Hector's dreams of a state title. Uh, unfortunately, when we lost to Miller North, uh, I think Hector realized it came to an end. While football was done for the year, Hector would quickly bounce back, just as he's done his entire life. I feel like a really happy in my heart, in my inside, what I experience about football. What we have going on here, you, you can't measure it. You can't put a dollar amount on it. I mean, it's just phenomenal. But there is a way to measure what's going on in the hallways of Burke High School. Not in size or stature. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But with a heart as pure as Hector's. Why are you so excited about everything? Oh, because I'm so excited because um, I love high school because high school is really awesome. And just as he's done a million times, yeah. he's done it again. Bye!